What up, OC Online? Welcome to OC Lounge. So excited to be hanging out with you guys today. We have a great little show for you guys to talk more about our Kingdom Builder series we're in right now and how God is just working in our lives. And first, we have a really important problem we've solved for you just right now, Brett, while we are getting ready. Solve your problem. If you don't have a food processor, check this <laughs> out. He has a great idea. Let's hear it, Brett. Yeah. Um, so I actually forgot what a garbage disposal is. Um, and so kind of get put on the spot a little bit here. But uh, yeah, I was talking about my apartment and how during the ice storm, it like literally just stopped yep. working mm -hmm. and uh, the apartment just came in and fixed everything. So you were talking about the benefits of like living in a home versus living in an apartment. And I don't have yes. to pay for that, which yeah. is awesome. Yeah. So. Well, he ha he was talking about his he he. Well, it was a genius idea. Yes. Taking a garbage disposal, so but but using it as a food, food processor, processor instead. Yep. And you could just like unscrew the bottom and make yeah, sure it's Yeah, and salsa. then you just but put you like wanna, a jar like, or something. Clean it out really good. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. I thought that was genius. <laughs> 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 so, why you introduce yourself? Yeah. So, uh, my name is Brett Rogers. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm on the team here uh, with Powerhouse. Um, so I get to oversee the uh, before and after school programs um, in the different locations there. So. Awesome. Mm -hmm. So glad. Excited for you to be here today. Thank what you. about you guys? I am Chris Long. I am the content coordinator for Oaks Kids. Awesome. Yeah. Welcome. Yeah. That's a newer position, yeah? Yeah. How long has it been? Uh, I've been here for about a month. Awesome. So yeah, I'm excited to be here. So glad you're on the team yeah. and yeah. here today. This is going to yeah. be fun. It's going to be awesome. Yeah. What about you? Well, I'm Connie Kell, and I also am on Powerhouse, and I'm the pastor, and I oversee the before and after school care and parents stay out here at our church. Love that. So yeah. cool. Great. Well, we're in the Kingdom Builder series, like I said, so we've been talking more about how God just gives us a provision for the vision, and so we're going to be sharing some of our own personal stories today about how God has made that happen, how he's done the miraculous in our own lives. We just want to share that with you guys. So if you want to let us know in the chat that you're here, um, give us any shout outs throughout the way or any testimonies of what God's doing. We want to celebrate that with you guys. So let's talk about that for a few minutes. Let's dive in. Um, in the series, what's been standing out to you guys? What are some of the stuff that they've been saying in the messages? Um, and any stories that are coming to your mind about how God has just been, has already in your life provided for you in the miraculous, miraculous ways? Does anybody want to go first? Anybody got a story? Uh, yeah, I mean, I'll go first. Um, I think the first thing that came to my mind whenever we were thinking about like the way God has kind of provided in our lives is, uh, so my wife and I got married in December of 2019. Okay. So right around the time, uh, from COVID and everything. Oh, good happened. time. Good yeah. Timing. Right. Great time. <laughs> to together be. time. You got a lot right. of together yeah. time. So, yeah. So, uh, I always joke around and say <laughs> that we got our second honeymoon, uh, yeah. during, uh, during COVID. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> kinda, yeah, so, yeah. Um, and so, um, we wanted to start off uh, the the new year in 2020 with uh, Daniel fast, mm -hmm. uh, much mm -hmm. like we did this year, and so uh, we fasted and prayed, and um, throughout that year um, we started tithing and giving to the church, and as a result of that, within six months of our marriage, we were able to get out of debt completely. Wow! Um, wow. So completely out of debt, um, we were able to start a down not a yeah, start a down payment on a house, which we're still trying to build yeah. right now. So cool. Because um, houses, you know, they're they're expensive. <laughs> they sure yeah. are, especially right now. Yeah, right, yeah. 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 God yeah. Help so, us all. Yeah, yeah, so we're still working our way through that. Um, yeah. We were able to get an emergency fund, so all glory to God and Dave Ramsey. Yeah. For <laughs> all that. Yeah, so we That's worked so his good. plan, and we were able to really get ahead of the game financially. I love so that. So we're, we're super, super grateful for, for that. I love that. Yeah. And just working God's plan. Something mm -hmm. Pastor Scott said a couple of weeks ago about yeah. that. Like it isn't always about, you know, this miraculous moment coming through in like one moment, but yeah. it's he gives you the strength to and the wisdom to work his plan Absolutely. that works. Yes. Absolutely. And that has been such a like reality to me in my older age. I think for so long, I just thought, I know if I just put myself out there, it's just going to be like some, some awesome, huge miracle. And yeah, it's going to, yeah. and he does that sometimes, but I found the reality of him giving me the wisdom per to prepare well yeah. and, and be a good steward yeah. mm -hmm. and just practice wisdom in the, my spending. And it's a process. And too. it's yes. a process. Yeah. And he's just as much in that, right? Yeah. Because I think to be alive as a human in our world right now, mm -hmm. you have to be disciplined if you're going to yeah. be about the kingdom. Yeah. Right. You know, everything wants us to give our money away to, you know, even just you go to the grocery store, I always laugh when I'm on Whole30. I'm like, look away, look away. <laughs> like nothing wants you to buy the outer of the grocery store. Right, everything yeah. is like bright and shiny and spend your money here. Mm -hmm. And 
And so I just love how God has given you guys the wisdom yeah. at such a young age to be able to do that yeah. and, and be about the kingdom. Yeah, so it, was, cool. it, was, it was really, really cool. I love that. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. What about you guys? Pastor Connie, Brett? I've just really been encouraged by the word, just the way he's just been sharing different stories, because I think we all, no matter how old we are, it's yeah. encouraging to hear different people's testimonies yeah. and to be mm -hmm. reminded of just how faithful God is. Right. And one thing that stood out was when Pastor Scott talked about, um, you know, being out there and having to give that offering away <laughs> yeah. as soon as yeah. Ford even got in his hand. Yeah. And it just reminded me, um, and really I'd kind of forgot about it, but God kind of did that with me years ago when um, my first husband was killed in a car wreck and we owned businesses and things. And one day God just said, I want you to sell everything yeah. and move away. Yeah. And, you know, young, being younger, it was easier to say yes and do that. Uh, I moved away and my kids went to a smaller school. But then I remember thinking, oh, my gosh, what am I going to do? Lord, you told me to yeah. move. Yeah. We buy this place. Now I don't know what I'm supposed to do as far as work. And he had called me to go out and to teach and to at different schools and churches and things. And I remember being in a hotel room one night saying, Lord, you know, I don't know how I'm going to make an income to pay for, you know, my family because the girls were still in school and we were busy and and I remember crying out to him, and at the time, um, Mark and I were just, we were engaged, but we were not married yet, and he had stopped by the house to check on our mail, and there was a check in there wow. from an oil company, mm. <laughs> and they had not dug oil on our land, but they did a horizontal drill and tapped into our land, <laughs> and we got wow. this huge check. And that check has came every month. Not as big as it has, yeah. but God reminded me then, when I ask you to do something, yeah. I'm yeah. going to make a way for you. Oh, yeah. So it's that provisions, yeah. you know. Oh, man. He gives us a vision. He will give us the provisions when we obey. Oh, that's that's so that is scary. Cool. I literally thought there near somebody. He literally made a way yeah. where there was no yes. way. He, like, no real right. sideways to make a way. Yeah. 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 So that cool. really awesome. opened yeah. my eyes. And, and really, it took me to a whole nother level of trusting God mm. yeah. when he says, you know, I want you to do this. It's a little easier to open my yeah. hand and let something go. Because I've of seen that. that in you in like the 10 years or so I've known you. I've just yeah. known you're a person. So knowing that faith has been like through God com coming through for you and you seeing it. Yeah. I've just known that about you've told me stories since I've known you. Yes. <laughs> and I've loved watching your faith. It's Aww. really strength and encouraged me. I feel like we could sit here all day and you could just tell us more stories. So be thinking of some more because okay. I just want to hear <laughs> more and more of those stories. I love I love, I love how God did that God for you. Good. Amazing. Yes. And he does sometimes send checks in the mail. Yes, he does. <laughs> yes, he sometimes does. he does it through the slow, yeah. like, but sometimes he sends a check. Yeah. It's cool. Mm -hmm. I love yeah. that. All right, Brett, no pressure, but you got something. <laughs> okay. I've got to like match these guys. They have like okay. really big stories. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. Um, no, my, my story is um, it happened in 2020 um, and I was tithing and I'm um, just doing a lot of things. We're here at the church, you know, just doing my, you know, standard 10% is oh. what we're called to do. And, um, randomly uh the lord like said like your your trust is misplaced with your money mm -hmm. and i was like all right that's like a super casual thing just to call me out on like thank you <laughs> i appreciate that sure um and i was like okay what do you want me to do he's like just give 40 extra dollars uh uh like a paycheck and i was mm -hmm. like okay like 40 bucks like i can do 40 bucks like you know that's fine and at that time uh to kind of put in uh, context like i was saving up money to um, by the engagement ring for okay. my, my wife now. And so then I was also in a leadership program uh, that w was in the Oaks uh, College. I was in a different program that was in Atlanta. And um, I was choosing like either I pay this money to go to this program or I save money to buy a ring. Um, so obviously I'm saving money to buy a ring. I mean, yeah, yeah like that's yeah. priority. Um, and so I was like, you know what, God, I'm gonna trust you with this. Mm -hmm. And he was like, okay. So the first Sunday I tied an extra 40 bucks that Tuesday, I got a call from the director of the program saying full full ride scholarship wow. to our program cool. for the whole year. Yeah. Like you can come. I was like, dang, okay, cool. Like I'm gonna do this again, right? Like what like <laughs> yeah, what's yeah. next? Yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, and so another two weeks go by, I tied my 40 again. Uh, a random friend from college that I was roommates with just randomly texted me. He's like, Hey, you wanna go on a family vacation with me? I was like, sure. Like, yeah. why not? I'm yeah. like I'm like thinking to myself, like, 
I don't have money to go on a family vacation right now. Yeah. Right. Calls me that Thursday, the same week is like, hey, we're gonna take you to Disney for an entire week, all expenses paid. Amazing. And they even, they even bought my souvenirs. Like wow. who buys people souvenirs? Yeah. Um, and it didn't stop there. Like it just like kept going yeah. from there. And I got like, you know, the next time that I tied, somebody randomly came up to me and was like, hey, I'm going to Cancun. Like, yeah. do you want to come? And I was like, I literally do not have pay time <laughs> off to go for you, go right. with you. so I cannot. Yeah. Um, but I think what was really cool is that it was, um, he was, I was able to openly receive what he had to speak to me. And then I got to see like faith in action almost immediately. Yeah. Yeah. Cause all the, all, all of that happened within two months. Mm. Um, so it wasn't like a super stretched out period of time. It was like right in a row. Yeah. Um, and so I think it was just really cool to be able to see like the blessing come through just like, just like yeah. that mm-hmm. when I just didn't expect it to. I love so. that. That's so cool. Mm-hmm. It makes me think about, I've, I, my whole life I've wondered about the relationship between our like, um, dependency on God and his provision like yeah. if I put myself in a position where I'm utterly dependent yeah it's like he never leaves us hanging yeah mm-hmm. but it's hard for us to put ourselves out there to that level mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. but you go out there and I think we're all saying we've seen God always yes. yeah always comes through yeah. you know yeah. I have so lots true. of stories of God providing miraculous ways but one just came to mind that's uh from back w- in the day I bought a house before I um well, truthfully, it was during that whole everybody buy a house thing. <laughs> I wasn't the part of the problem, I don't think. I always paid my mortgage, okay? But this one, uh, I bought a house before I was married, and I had roommates living there. And it just so happened that I was about to move out. They were moving out, and there was a whole month where I owed the full mortgage. And I was very young, and I didn't, I mean, I counted on their rent, okay? So I remember exactly the dollar it was. Well, no joke, tax return comes back, and it's the same exact dollar amount. Wow. You know, and I remember during that season, just like laying awake at night thinking, "Ah, (laughs) like, what am I going to do? I'm so stressed. And I felt like God just told me it's okay for you to just like put this on the back burner. I'm not saying be irresponsible, but just trust me that I got this one. And I was like, okay. And I closed my eyes and went to sleep and I, and I did. And I feel like it was one of the ways God was teaching me, um, you are utterly dependent Right. (laughs) and I'm going to help you out and I'm going to keep teaching you how to make really wise decisions. But I just love that, that yeah. God's showing that in, in each one of us in our stories. And yeah. we could probably go on and on oh, for a yeah. while <laughs> about yeah. God's provision. So, again, we'd love to hear from you guys in the comments. What are your stories? How has God provided for you in miraculous ways? Again, we want to celebrate with you guys and, and just keep cheering you on as you live a life that's obedient to God, that is for his kingdom and valuing the things of the kingdom. So um, I think Pastor Connie would you i would love for you to like pray over us again i was saying your faith has challenged me in my life and has inspired me to trust god more would you pray for the people watching today as they are learning to do that more and more yeah okay father god we just thank you so much that you give us this opportunity Mm -hmm. to serve you to be a good steward towards you and i just pray for those father god that have that just are nervous about taking that first step Mm -hmm. sometimes that's all it is is the first step Um, i just pray that you would encourage them and that they would just be able to trust you and and father god i know that sometimes it's we don't see miracle take place right away Mm -hmm. but it's your faithfulness Mm -hmm. that you always provide no matter what and that is the one thing i can say is no matter what you've asked me to do, you have continued to provide. And I pray that for every listener out there, that you would just continue to provide for them and encourage them to hear your voice and to obey your voice, Mm -hmm. just to trust you. You are a good father. And I pray that everyone listening today, Father God, would trust you as a good father and know that you have their best interest at your heart. Mm -hmm. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thanks, Pastor Connie, for that yes, blessing. Ma'am. I want to give you guys a chance if you have like a closing thought on generosity, on kingdom builders, on anything that's going on, anything you want to add to this conversation before we go. Yeah, I, I think what's what's great about all of our stories that we've had is like we're able to look back on those moments where God has provided the next time that he asks us to do something. Yeah. And we're scared yeah. of like, 
oh man, how, how is this going to happen? But no, but remember when this happened, yeah. remember when, you know, this check in the mail came, yeah. remember when I was able to get you out of debt in six months, remember yeah. when this happened, remember when this happened. So right. he's always, God is always like looking at us saying, come this way. Like I got you. Like you can look back at all like that went wrong, or you can look back and say, look at how I have provided for you mm-hmm. yeah. the next time that he asks us to take that next step. Oh, that's good. Mm-hmm. That's good. Yeah. And I'm believing that for everybody listening, that that will be yeah. your perspective soon, that yeah. you'll be able to look back and see, I remember when God did that, and therefore I can have yeah. big faith right now. Yeah. Yeah. So I love that. Yeah. Thanks for sharing that, yeah. Chris. Yeah. What mm-hmm. about you, Pastor Connie? Well, I just want to encourage everybody to don't be afraid for that first step, because sometimes yeah. we take them and we take it for granted. But one thing that I've always done is journal. Yeah. And I can mm. look back and be reminded of God's faithfulness. Mm-hmm. And yeah. so sometimes it's not just a matter of, of doing it, but also writing down what mm-hmm. you've asked for yeah. so that you can be encouraged when you look back and see how God's answered those prayers. Love yeah. it. Have eyes yeah. to see it. Yes. So good. Thanks for sharing that. Yeah. Yep. Love that. Yeah. Anything? Yeah, I just think that um, uh, <laughs> I know, right? Just throw, just throw it <laughs> over here. I know, I love it. Um, no, I think was I think it's just cool to be able to be a part of the family of Christ and just mm-hmm. know that like generosity, like there's a blessing in generosity, and it yeah. feels weird to have to give something away to get something in mm-hmm. return. Right. But every time that we get something back, it's way more than we gave in the first place. Whether yeah. that's either a financial blessing or like an actual breakthrough yeah. that like you've been fasting for or praying for um, in your family. I just love the fact that like n- it just never returns void yeah. when yeah. we're open and we're yeah. generous with our money yeah. or so finances. Good. Well, and I think too, one thing that God just reminded me of is I remember driving down the road one day and I seen a lady on the side of the road and she was obviously homeless and mm-hmm. had her cart and she was walking into McDonald's and God said, go give her $20. Mm. And I was like, okay. So I turned around and went in there and God had me hand it to her and tell her that God loves you. Mm. And I can't say that I got something from return, but what I did see is that was coffee time. So there was a bunch of people in there having their morning coffee and everything got still. And you could just feel the presence of God in that that. moment. And so even that obedience wasn't mm-hmm. that I was going to get a miracle back, yeah. but it was what God wanted to do. And yeah. he trusted me That's so cool. in yeah. that moment. And so sometimes it's, it is, you know, we're talking about money and provisions, but also it's that step yeah. so that God can make sure he's getting the glory I and, love that. and yeah. touching the hearts and the so way. True. I yeah. And I think too, like, you know, like you said, like you may not get something in the physical, but something happens in your heart and in yeah. your soul yes. that's far greater than anything that you could get in in the physical, like yeah. in yeah. the material so yeah. that, you know, not every time you give is 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 it going to get be returned, like mm-hmm. you said. Yeah. But, you know, and I even think that there's even psychology studies of like what happens like in your brain, like in, in your actual brain, whenever you give. It's like all these got to be serotonin or something. Oh yeah, yeah. like <laughs> like endorphins exactly. or some yeah. kind of yeah. chemical or something yeah. that that gives you like cool. this this feeling of mm-hmm. good. Yeah. Whenever you give. Yeah. Oh man, yeah. yeah, big time. Yeah. I think a gift we get too when we do give is like sonship and daughtership, mm-hmm. and it always oh, reminds yeah. me of when I was growing up. My dad would always say, "Hey, pull the car up here and let's check your oil." And I yeah, and I yeah. thought it was such a cool picture of of who God is because. You know, he could have said, go get your oil changed or he could have said, I'll do it. But he said, let's do it together, you know. And so getting to partner with God in his work here, Mm -hmm. I get to be in his business with him. Mm -hmm. And that's way more satisfying than anything else than any gift I could get. And I love me some gifts. I really do. I love getting (laughs) gifts. But I found the older I get, the more it really does feel better to give than receive. It's weird. I never thought I'd say that, but it really is true. It, it is feels true. really, yeah. really good. Yeah. So true. I love that. You guys are wise. Thanks for sharing oh. with us and sharing your wisdom today. It's been fun hanging it out with you guys. Yeah. yeah, so good. So we got some fun stuff happening around here at Oaks Church as always. So yeah. check this out. We've got Revival Night starting. Mm-hmm. We already started uh, last week, so we're on week two, and we're going to keep rolling. So Revival Nights, we hope we're seeing you guys there, mm-hmm. either in person or online. We've got a great experience online for you. So we'd love to see you there. Um, we also have Oaks Women night coming up yes february 26 coming up really soon uh that's for all the women join us online or in person we're gonna have fun stuff here on campus if you're able to to make it 
And then anybody else want to talk about Splash Party? Anybody? Ooh, I'm excited about Splash yeah. Party. Yeah. Actually, I'm I'm excited about this one coming up, but I'm excited about next month because two of my grandsons are getting they are? Yeah. baptized. Oh, yes. Awesome. So I'm awesome. really excited. I love that. That's yeah. so exciting. cool. I love it that families can come together yes. and celebrate yes. and be a part of that. Yeah. It's such a cool experience. I've never been a part of a Splash Party okay. yet, Uh-oh. but I'm super excited about it. It's going to be fun. Yeah, it's I love cool. that. So yeah. cool. You can check out all that online at Oaks at Church for signups, all the info, everything thing you need to know there we'd love to see you online or in person so thanks again for joining us today we hope you have a great week and we just love getting to do this with you guys bye